You know, when it comes to money, millennials do a lot of things right, but one common mistake may come back to haunt them. Joining us with more on what that is, we have Simply Money's Amy Wagner. Good morning. Good morning. Well, let's start with what millennials are doing right. Okay, I like that. Doing better than any other generation yeah. with having emergency savings. Mm -hmm. So if something were to happen, a car were to break down, whatever it is, nobody's putting it on a credit card. They actually have the money there. So that's the good thing. Right. The problem is when they were asked by Bankrate, Bankrate did the survey of what's the best long-term investment one third of millennials said savings accounts. Hmm. Where if you ask older generations, anyone over the age of 38, on average about 40% of them are going to say the stock market. So what's the problem here, right? right? Are why, they scared? why are millennials yeah. scared? Well, they came of age during the Great Recession. Right. So they grew up only hearing, probably seeing what their parents were struggling, right. hearing the news about it, and there's kind of a distrust in the mm -hmm. stock market. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is you have to look at the statistics. So they're comfortable with savings accounts, which on average right now have about a 1.75% interest rate, versus the S and P 500, as it reports itself uh, over the history of that exchange, has had about um, a 10 percent return. So millennials are being a little short-sighted right. about how what they're Returns, comfortable with. The uh, yes, there. right. Of course, there is less risk in that savings account. But NerdWallet just did a study that said 70 percent of the years the stock market is up. If you go back over the history of the market, so that's one thing to keep in mind for you millennials out there that are a little nervous about investing. 70 percent of the time, historically, the market has been up at the end of that year. So how can millennials start and get going in that direction Right, at least, at least maybe dip a toe in. Yeah. Make sure you're investing in your 401k and at least enough to get that company matched. So few people understand that if you're not putting in the maximum amount to get that company match, it's like your boss putting his hand out there and saying, here's a thousand bucks and you're saying, no thanks. Well, you wouldn't right, do that. Of no, course you yeah. wouldn't do that. So make sure you're putting money into that 401k and don't do the auto enrollment where it's the bare minimum 3%. You know, make sure that you're incrementally bumping that up every year. And if you don't have a 401k at work, then start investing in an IRA. Just make it an auto enrollment where it's like a bill every month. You're just paying it and you're not thinking about it. And start early, right? Early is key. Early is key. We've got a great example of that. So if you were to start investing at the age of 25 and you put in $1,000 and you're adding $100 a month for 40 years, so you get to 65, you're going to put in about $49,000 net. But if that was invested and it gets a return of about 6% a year, you're going to have a, more than $200,000. Wow. So, yeah. and if you're able to save even more, then you're going to have even more for retirement. So if you're looking at that savings account versus that stock market, understand the returns historically have been so much better. So millennials out there who are afraid, yeah. don't be afraid. Start trying. Put that money into that 401k.